friends. See what's going on? I'll get some water. She's right. I'm totally drenching. I'm totally like drenched and loving every second of it. <sighs> yes, I do my own laundry. I don't expect my wife to do my, my laundry. My laundry is dirty. And I don't expect her, all the stuff she does, to have to do my laundry. I've been doing my own stuff for years. She does it if, if I'm in a pinch, she'll do it. Because that's how we roll. And if she's in a pinch, I'll do something for her. That's how it goes. Oh, let me tell you. See this one here, friends? This is that one we made. Um, well, I did a video on it. I, I built it and, and, and did a video on it and I'm very happy with it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but here's the deal. Um, I'm going to chop with it. This is a chopper. See that glistening glean there, but it's not up there because that is sharp up top. I'm just sharpening this, but see the, the shiny part. It's not going to focus, but you can see it. You can, even though it's dull, you can see it. Okay. So I'm going to sharpen this thing and I'll show you what. Don't go chopping with that. When you look at your axe and you see shine like that, don't start chopping with it. You can split with it, but don't chop with it. There's our burr. So now, this is what I do. Just what I do, friends. Yeah, it's good. Good to swat. You got to swat. It's good. good for the skin. Good for the heart. I got. I got to start some breathing exercises. I, I. I'm a shallow breather, and sometimes I feel like I'm running out of wind, and I don't like that. I've been a shallow breather my whole life, and I think my lungs. My lungs need exercise. I'm just being given it to you. Straightage. Straightage. Okay. I want to show you guys, gals, in, uh, something what I'm doing outside here. It's uh, it's a little project I got going. Here, I'll turn you guys off and I'll bring you back. These two were topped when we got here. Uh, they had been topped. They're 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 creating a problem now. You see, the, they're very close to the house. We enjoy them for shade. This one's kind of interesting. It's got ivy. And friends, the bird activity that happens here, the nesting every year, it would blow your freaking minds there. It's, it's like a, a bustling city of, of, of activity of wildlife in these things, like lots. And so this one's kind of neat because the ivy is part of it. And I really like drooping ivy. See how it's, and it keeps Hogan's room kind of dark and cool a bit here. So I, I'm going to start with this one because it's right on the, I'm continuously on my roof cleaning the gutters and the roof and now it's becoming a problem because it actually has, I'll show you, I'll zoom in, look. See, it's all rotten and the tops are gonna start to fall out now. It's got great big leaders on it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fall it by hand, okay? And it's going out towards the fire pit. It's got kind of weight from these big limbs pulling it uh, down that away, but I'm putting it out here. So I will utilize, hopefully, it won't be too tied up in here and it'll come away. If not, 
I'll just open up my undercut. Well, actually, I think it'll, I think it'll be all right. I got my undercut face in there. I'm not done the undercut yet. I don't do straight undercuts. I do, I do open face. It's just, it's, it's just so much, I don't know. I just find it easier. Side, I'm a right hand swinger. So I'm on the, I'm on the low side. I can swing both ways, but to get any, any work done, I'm on the right side of the tree, which on the, in this case is the low side. People ask me low side, high side. Well, the low side is the low part of the grade is here. That's the low side of the tree. So the underside, so to speak. So um, I'm going to take this, this, this little lightweight one. We just played around with this the other day out getting firewood. This is that teeny little whippersnapper axe I did a little thing on Instagram with. It's teeny, friends. Like, it's, it's so teeny. But if you've got a lot of chopping to do, and you want to save your wind, and you want to just, you know, pick in here, it's great for just, right? Getting in there. Right? And opening up. And it'll get... It'll get the work done, friends. It, it will. These small axes are great for chopping trees down. Lovely tool. Now, I want to show you something. I want to go to the extremes right now and grab the wood bullet. We built this wood bullet as a wood splitter. Splitter. Not a chopper, friends. Not a chopper. <laughs> Let me tell you. I think I'll open up the top now. It's, friends, this thing, I, it chops wood, it chops wood. but it's heavy, but it chops. <laughs> the wood bullet, it's, I didn't, I didn't design it to be multi-purpose friends, but it is. We can even, we can go as far as playing around, opening up. Here's a 28 inch German ax. These are nice chopping axes friends. Very nice chopping axis. Very sharp. Very sharp, actually. A sinker. See? The lighter the axe, friends. Yeah, see that? Yeah, this is actually a really nice chopping axe. Oh dear. Yeah. It's lovely actually. Wow. I'm gonna start notching my sides, friends. Anyway, I'm just playing around because, because I can. So here is the ax we made last night, a couple nights ago, actually. And I just sharpened it, just showed you. So let's, let's go over and notch our side over here. Get you guys in the back now. Lovely. I just sharpened this one, friends, right? Okay. Here we go. This, this is notching your sides.
that's notching your sides. Get out my favorite chopper for just a second. It's about what feels good in your hands, right friends? This thing feels good in my hands. Now what I'm gonna do is put you guys over here for just a second. I'm just gonna, I'm telling you friends, this ax is light and freaking nimble. So I can now, oh see, this I'm having flashbacks. This, this ax is nuts. Look at this. See that? See that hit? Watch. See? Just change the angle of the, of the undercut right now. I love this axe. This is the cleanup axe, this one. Okay. Right there. Watch. Just so it continues to fall and doesn't close up. You can easily... And I'm milking this, friends. I'm like totally milking this, this chop. See this? I love this axe. There we go. That's it, notched. This is the axe, friends. Double bit, I'm telling you right now, HB. This thing is a two and a half pound cruiser. It's my favorite cutting down tree ax. But look at this, it's the epitome of a GBA ax. Look at that two and a half pound boys ax. Look at the stamp, friends. Uh, this is the example of a lovely vintage boys ax. And it cuts. It's not, it's not incredible chopper, it's not my favorite chopper. Single bit, double bit, right? Off here. It's a, it's a light, it's light duty, friends. Like I'm talking light, light duty. Look at it. Look at this thing. I don't want to change direction of my undercut. So I don't want to keep ripping around. So now that my notch is there, here's my direction, right? This is my direction. We're going over there because I don't want it to bounce off the freaking house, right? So th this is the ordeal. So as far as notching goes, I come in here now. And I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll basically shank this out of my way because it's actually in my way. You see? See this? Yeah. Hi, babe. It's getting warm, isn't it? Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, I'm working on it. Okay. So there's our notch beginning, friends. But maintaining, maintaining our hinge right across the front there. It's okay to notch. You'll see the tree climbers do that on big hard leaners. It takes away the barber chair, friends, is what it does. And cuts down on your back work, your, your back cut work. It's a big tree, friends. It's a big tree. He is. You need a hand? No. Okay. I'm going back to my double bit because it's what we need. But that is a lovely chopping axe too, friends. I want to show you guys this. A, a, a guy was nice enough to hand. He machined. Remember this one, friends? Ash hand. Or pardon me, red oak. Or pardon me, red elm. Beautiful double bit axe. Check out the profile. He sent me the axe and he says, Bucking. Chop down a tree with it, or do some chopping with it. And I have done minuscule amount with it. Look at this. This is a nice chopping axe. Really nice chopping axe.
we're on the back cut. Okay, so that's going there. You want to put your undercut, friends, under, under the lay, the lean, or the weight, the limbs. Put it at least some, even if it's half under, like if your limbs are weighing out here, it doesn't have to go right under, but it's got to be under said that that weight will get it to move. It's all about weight distribution. So I've notched both my sides here now. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Very good. This is it. Gotta watch my swing here now. This is a nice I may have to move something here, friends. So I'm, I'm at the mercy of this thing back here, friends. That's why my swing kind of starts and then finishes hard, you know what I mean? I'm on the outside. No, I didn't. I'll have some water. <laughs> I'll go, I'll come get it, babe. I'll come get it. My wife's giving me trouble for no water and she's right. I better go get some water. See, these roots are, are part of the problem, friends. See what's going on? I'll get some water. She's right. I'm totally drenching. I'm totally like drenched and loving every second of it. <sighs> okay, friends. So it's about establishing a hinge, correct? Yes, it is. It's about establishing a hinge. Now, as you guys saw earlier in my, my video here, is that the undercut. The undercut should be at least in front of or underneath the lean of the tree or direction of fall. Here's the deal. See that root? It's about six inches higher than the ground. It's going and lifting our concrete here. See this? This is my shop. Yes, I could excavate the root. Absolutely, I could. But you know what? The sun sets over there. We've got three ginormous big second growth firs back there. This is doing nothing for our home. We've accepted it. We're okay with it. I may leave, no bugs, yep. But I may leave this one for a little bit because it's gonna, it's gonna be some different concern. Now look at that beautiful woman over there. Gets to chop a tree down with an ax and then come home to that? Come on. You can see where this thing's at, right? It's right outside my freaking, and for years and years and years, I've been freaking <laughs> dealing with it because I love trees, right? So let's have a look. Yeah, oh my, it's bigger than I thought, friends. What do we got across the undercut? It's actually 22 inches. It's a 22 inch tree, so it's almost two foot.
Okay, friends, can you see that? I know I was standing in your way, but I needed to. I just wanted to notch my side a little bit more on that outside. That knot's gonna be a problem, I think, friends. What's that? It's too heavy, this axe. It, it wipes you out. I just wanted to take a bit of wood out with it first. And it's hot. I don't wanna, I wanna leave this knot, friends. It's about time I got onto a smaller ax. Here she comes. You gotta create room. That's what I'm talking about right there. See, you gotta be careful. You gotta have room. You're always chasing that top wood. You see? Look at all that sap friends in there. We're getting into some gnarly stuff here. <sighs> Friends, okay, good morning. So, this, we'll get this angle so you all know if you were on the live feed, you watched that tree go down alive. So what I'm doing right now with the camera, you'll see I got the one camera checking me out and I'm explaining to the live feed what's kind of going on there. So I'm gonna skip through the little bit of this and get into the tree going down right near the end and that. So. But I, I just wanted to share this part with you because there's axes that, it, put it this way, friends, the heavier the axe, you're going to wear yourself out. Yes, it's going to get more work done on the tree itself. It's going to, it's going to sink deeper. Uh, it's going to take bigger. Absolutely. But here's the deal. Think about this. With a smaller axe, a lighter axe, you're going to be able to swing for so much longer. So it is a six and six ordeal. This is how I analogize it. Analogize? Is that a word, babe? Shucks. I make up some pretty good ones, and I like analogize. Um, you got a problem with your, your dump truck, and everything's half-inch driving up, like one-inch drive. So you take it to the guy with quarter inch and half inch drive, right? Or three eighths drive, three eighths drive, okay? And he charges you $25 an hour. And you think, that's a great hourly rate. I'm gonna take it to that guy. So now he's working on a dump truck with three eighths drive and, and, and just struggling. Whereas you pay the guy a hundred bucks an hour, 75 bucks an hour with one inch drive and a freaking, do you know what I'm saying, friends? It's all relative. You may think you're getting so use what's comfortable to you. I personally like in the middle there. I don't run, uh, and 30 inch handles, friends, are wonderful. Uh, you know when I do the stand up on the log and the chop thing? It's 30 inch, that's where that is. So use what's comfortable for you. Try all kinds of different things, see what's going down. Main thing, be sharp, just be sharp. Let's get back to this freaking show here. It's going to come away. You can hear it. It's actually coming away now. So we're going to get into the back cut right now and, and let this thing go. Hear it? Honey! Boy, do you want to see this thing go down?
Look at the light. I love it, babe. Yeah. <clears throat> Friends, good afternoon. You know those things, those things you gotta do that you don't wanna do? You know, admitted, administrative stuff. You want to, you got to do them. You don't right feel like doing them. I'm at walkers right now. You don't really want to do them. But you do them. You do them anyways. That's that thing, friends, that comes in handy where I do that, you know. Um, I'm not in a hurry. I am at peace. I'm not in a hurry. I'm at peace. But what I do is I go, like, I breathe and I go, I am not in a hurry. I am at peace. I am not in a hurry. Breathe in and exhale. I am at peace. Three or four times, it'll be wonderful. So I used to think that stuff was silly, right, friends? The, the deep breathing and this and that. Because when I was a young guy, life bounced off me. It did. Life just bounced off me. I was indestructible. Right, friends? Remember those days, guys, when we were guys, gals, women, and children, when we were young and, and just... And I felt invincible. I, I'm just... I did. I felt invincible. Man. You know? But that one particular thing, I've been talking about it for years on the channel, and people have emailed me and said, Buckin, that works, that thing you talk about. Yes, it does. These silly little things we think, <clears throat> excuse me, until we try them. <sighs> the old noggin there. <laughs> anyway, friends, I wanted to get this video out to you. I gotta, I'm got really busy right now doing stuff for the channel, kind of behind the scenes stuff. And uh, it's exciting, friends, exciting stuff. And we're scorching. We're supposed to get some rain. Anyways, just wanted to say goodbye to you as, when the video is done. Friends, Pop in to buckandbillyray.com if you're looking for your t-shirts, your ball caps, all those goodies that we, all us YouTubers have in our little stores. We appreciate it because it helps us carry on doing our thing. So thanks, everybody. Be kind to one another. See you on the next video.